Hi guys, I'm Marky again and welcome back to Revit House. Welcome to our part 3 and the final part of our Revit House Lecture Series 01 Introduction and Project Setup. So, for our navigation discussion, we have navigation in 2D and in 3D. So in navigation in 2D, we can use this navigation bar here on the upper right hand corner of your screen. You can use the steering wheel to zoom in, to pan, and even rewind your action. And we also have the zoom tool here. Zoom, zoom in region, zoom out, zoom to fit, and those uh, other zoom command. Or you can just simply use your middle mouse button scroll in and scroll up for zooming in and zooming out okay and use the middle mouse button to pan so that's how you navigate in 2d so for the 3d uh, we need to create a default 3d view so that we can move out from our 2d view of floor plan so we click this house here it's it will create a default 3d view and then from here we can zoom in and zoom out using our scroll button and then we can hold the shift hold the shift and the middle mouse button to orbit so that's how you orbit your 3d so if you want to change your pivot because the world pivot of uh, oh, the world pivot of the Revit is by default the center of the whole model so but if you if you select an item like for example this railing here and then you you sh click the shift and orbit from it it will be the pivot of your orbit so now if I deselect and click the escape button to cancel my selection if I orbit again without any selection the pivot as you notice is still that trailing so Revit will read the last selection of your pivot to be its recent pivot or active pivot of your uh, 3D view so for example I click my uh, skylight window here on the roof and I will pivot from from it then it will be my new pivot of our Revit 3d view if I click uh, the escape twice to cancel the selection then it will still be my pivot so that's how you change your pivot pivot in 3d yep then selection so we go back to floor plan view for the selection there's there are various ways of selection or selecting in Revit one is of course the be very basic one uh, is pick so pick control to add pick pick and pick shift to subtract or to deselect a selection control to add so that's very basic one and the uh, other way is window and crossing selection if you are AutoCAD user you are more familiar with this uh, selecting from creating a box from upper left to lower right will have you create uh, or select the element inside the box and if you notice the window selection will be a solid rectangle so if you click, click from left to right it will be the window selection even from bottom left to upper right it will be a window selection if it's a crossing it will be from right to left so it's either from top right to or bottom right to top left or bottom left so if you as you notice it's a uh, dotted lines 
for a crossing selection. So for crossing selection, anything that hits the rectangle will be selected. Okay, so that's the window and crossing selection. And what's unique in Revit is it has the tab tool. So it's not really just the escape now that are very useful, but the tab, because there's two uses for the tab. One is the if you hover your mouse here without selecting it or picking it, then use the tab to select all the connected walls from that wall that you just hover or highlighted. So I repeat, so I hover my mouse here without clicking it, without selecting it, and then I click the tab and it will select all the walls that are connected to this wall. Okay, so that's the first use of the tab. The second use of the tab is hover hover your mouse to the element and it will cycle through to the selection like for example this area here there's a lot of element along this line here so if i hover my mouse here and then as you can see from the status bar you look into this side as i click the tab on this portion of my mouse of or my building so i will click the tab as i hover my mouse on this area this is the SH curtain wall. When I click the tab, it will be chain of walls or lines. And then I tab again, it will be system panel glaze. And then I tab again, it will be a rectangular mullion. I tab again, it will be a generic floor 150mm. And I tab again, will be grid A and a room. So it will cycle through the elements that are in this line where I hover my mouse. So that would be the other use of the tab. Sorry, the tab. Yep. And then the other way of selection will be the filter. How to use a filter? So for example, I just need to select some or some elements like uh, maybe a floor. So I will hover my mouse here. Sorry, I will select by crossing and then from this sets of elements that is about common 267 there are various categories that are selected but i just need to select all the floors so by using this filter here i can just click the filter and revit will list me will give me the list of all the selected categories as per their categories not as per their elements so as you can see here i have the floor which is for elements or for counts so I can just simply check none and then click the floor and apply and then OK so Revit will give me all the floor which is for elements so that's how you use a fil how you use a filter for a selection yep so that concludes our part one of our Revit Revit House Lecture Series 01. Uh, I hope you gained a lot, and I hope you can con you can st you still continue following the channel, and we will do more from the next uh, lecture series. It will be all about how to start a new project. So, if you like the content of our lecture series please click the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button for more of this lecture series talk to you soon